Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. When, when I hear the theme song, it takes me right back to Lisa Parks's house up the street and her overstuffed couch, and we would sit there playing. Where does it take you guys when you hear the song? Mm. Lisa's. I hear the coins and, you know, I jump on the flag and I hear the music and it's wild. It was really the soundtrack of like a good probably four or five year chunk of my life from like nine to like 13 or something like that. So it brings me right back. Mario, 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 Mario. Chris, did you know you are not the only Seattle connection to this movie? Mario, the original character based on a real guy who lived in Seattle and rented a building in Tukwila to Nintendo when they created the game. No way. Yeah. Wow. Really? So I feel, so I'm, my question is, how much time did you spend in Tukwila preparing for the role? Was it days? <laughs> <laughs> this is destiny. This was meant to happen. Listen, it had to be a Seattle guy. I played a lot of Mario growing up and spent a lot of time in Tukwila. So I know, I didn't even realize the preparation I had been doing. It was all, yeah, like you said, it's yeah. destiny. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! I'm sorry, <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Your voice is basically unrecognizable as Toad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In advance of actually going into the booth, are you practicing at home? Are you using it in a drive-through? How do you exercise this in I haven't, I haven't done that yet, Kim, but I'm gonna give that a try. Next time I'm gonna give that a try. I like that a lot, that's a great idea. <laughs> yes, fire! Can you that. do Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong? <laughs> I'm trying to do the set. <laughs> just like, like, just like doing his laugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> what scene or level from this film do you wish you could experience in like a live action version? I just want to get on that rainbow road and fly, man. Yeah. As fast as I can. That's true. I'm gonna throw uh, shells at people. Yeah. yeah. I would just want to walk through Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A good walk through Brooklyn. A good too. walk through it's Brooklyn like, is great. Yeah. The brothers are very affectionate in the film. Is this how you guys interacted with each other in the vocal booth? Were you just like hugging and like yes. grabbing each other's hands and? Yes, mm -hmm. nonstop. Piggyback rides. The piggyback <laughs> rides. We just would look at each other and say, as long as we're together, yeah, nothing can hurt us. <laughs> and we, until we felt that bond, we didn't let them roll. <laughs> and given your experience on this film, what is the greater cautionary tale? A turtle or a banana peel? Mm. No, it's always a banana peel. It's always banana okay. peel. Because I can, I feel like you can see the turtle coming. But a banana yeah. peel, you got, you got to keep an eye out. Banana peel can come down flat, and you got to keep your eyes open. Got to keep your eyes, if I may, peeled. Oh. Damn, I said it. I said it. I'm not you taking it. You said it. I'm grateful for it. Woohoo!